Manitowoc County Sheriff's Department. Katie speaking. Hey, Katie, God follow. Hi. You busy enough today? Hang on one second. Hey, cut 310. Uh, this cut 310. Yeah, busy enough, I would say. You want to run me a criminal history on Earl Avery? Love Let me know if he's convicted felon. You know what? I think there's already one run on him. I I'm think there is too. I'm I pretty thought, sure I saw I one thought in the it was file. Affirmative on that, but. I saw one in the file here. Oh, Mr. Errol. He's got a charge of sexual assault of a child. And is that a conviction? It doesn't say. It says severity unknown and there's no disposition on here. Because I had, I was going over this with Link the other day when he was in here, so there's, it doesn't tell you if he's a felon or not by that. And that's all he's got. So it says disposition unknown. There is no disposition okay. line what's, on it at all. What's the date on that? Uh, April of 1993. Okay, hang on a second. I'll let you talk to uh, DCI one. Okay. Maybe he's got a question for you. Okay. Let's go to. 1041. For the Pico, feeling. Okay, I've got Todd on the line right now, so. What's that? Not that I'm talking to somebody else here. Okay, keep that handy. Okay. I got some questions for you. Okay. I will, uh, I'll get back in touch with you. I'll let you go. Okay, Todd. Bye. Okay? Yep, bye. Bye. Yeah. Manitowoc County Sheriff's Department, Katie speaking. Okay, Katie Dodd gone. Okay. Only his FBI number had been run before. I just ran his local Wisconsin <laughs> criminal history number, and it does show the uh, sexual assault of the child. Those are both misdemeanors that he was convicted Drop on. Misdemeanors, yep. yep. Okay. So nothing was felony on him. Thank you. Sure. Bye. Bye.